Well, we have the mysterious bzzzt on our team. Rashan was able to do the living glass, the thing that was prophesized. And now we're on Sanctus, Sanct, Sanctuspire, Sanctu, Sanctuspire. I don't know. We're over here. Sanctuspire something because we need to figure out how to take down the Dweller of Dread here in Sarai's homeworld. Believe it or not, which is a completely different world from where the whole rest of the game has been happening so far. So let's do it in today's episode of Sea of Stars right here on Missledine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Let's go ahead and enter the Sacrosanct Spires. Last episode, we, like I said, we got a new party member taking Garl's position here, I guess. Garl, I'm never going to get over it. And it looks like we get a resting spot, which we don't need because we actually did, right here. And a save point and a barrier. Sacrosanct Spires. It's been so long. I must find the frequency. One moment. Songster magic. Impossible. Did you think I was younger than you? Ah. What does that mean? Great alchemist, if my understanding is correct, you have never visited this world before. You should be warned about the cultist, their origins. We will deal with whatever lies ahead. There is no other way. Then let us proceed. What? Well, I want to know whatever they were just about to say, though. Why do you say that? All right. Well, we'll continue on. I want it so... So this guy is older. Psst, is older than Rashan. That's really inter like what? I guess that makes sense considering the they they just continue to make the game bigger. Every every little bit we do, they just make it bigger and bigger in the world. I'm going to need to play the messenger after this. And I had no interest in playing that before this, and now I'm like, I'm gonna need to. Oh, these enemies look great. What is that? They said the cultist. There we go. Grapple time. We got a scout and anointed that's weak to what it does. And then another scout. So we can break this lock with poison. Uh, let's go ahead and use... Why don't we just do big boost, power smash. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. All right, we're going to swap to Sarai. Uh, not Sarai. We'll switch, switch to Rashan. There we go. Oh, the anointed is fighting with a feather. All right, let's sunball right in the middle of them. Probably should have boosted first, but that's okay. Deleted. See you, scout. Nice. 6,000 XP. 6,500 more like. What is this statue here? Oh, and there's another thing there. Oh, those look so cool. Are they... Oh, is it supposed to be Aferol? I think they're supposed to be statues to Aferol. Which is very cool. Oh my god. Psst. The turns into... Oh, they did so much for a character that you get this late in the game. Maybe we're not even remotely close to the end. And I'm just... I just think I am. <laughs> How many times have I been like, I feel like the game's going to end soon. Oh, that was super... This place is dope. All right, there's a thing there. Oh, okay. Then we need to get back. Oh, shoot. Well, that's not going to do that. You didn't see that, viewer? Close your eyeballs. There we go. See? You didn't see nothing. All right, so we're up here. Climb on this. Got a couple more there that we're going to have to deal with. 
But with the power of pst on our side, I think we'll be just fine. Yeah! Especially when you get that double boost. And these are weak to... They're actually weak to... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to use his. Seventy-six damage. That's actually not as much as I thought they were gonna do. Ooh, <laughs> I love that. They like get ready to fight. All right, Sunball. That's a huge lock. Deleted. Of course, that one I get the timing. See ya. Over 4,000 XP just for the two enemies there. All right, feels like we haven't seen any items or anything yet. Surely we will soon. Go across here. Oops. Oh, no, that's actually fine. We could have grappled instead, but... Look what he turns into to go... Oh, that is so cool. I'm a little sad that we didn't get this guy sooner. He's super, or I keep saying guy, but person, soul, sapphire ore. That's actually good because I really need money. Hello? Uh, you look awesome. Seat of the Triumvirate. Abstract. Brother Kasugin, you seldom leave your post. Did something happen? An unidentified group has managed to break through the seal. One of them used songster magic. What? But how? We were told they couldn't leave the dome. I saw it myself. A sort of glass vessel moving. Oh? <laughs> what is it, Rakata? Things are getting interesting for once. And? I'm thinking maybe I should handle them. A little trap, perhaps? Yes, swift action may be preferable here. Preposterous. The code clearly states that anyone may attempt to... Silence! What the heck was that? The triumvirate of eminence reigns supreme, and I, Abstarak, am its leader. You will not question me. I... I apologize, Great Illuminator. Rakator, deal with the intruders. With pleasure. <laughs> what? Oh, that was a... that was the... that was that whole area. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I thought Synchrosynct Spires were... What the heck are... What is going on? I have no idea now where we're at in this game. Like, I was thinking we were getting near the end. Alright, so hunting fields. We can go down here. Oh, we can't. There's nothing... Go this way. Oh, they actually do allow us a shortcut to go back there. Nice. Like, what are, like, definitely going to go ahead and rest, just because you never know. Oh, I thought some of these were chests, dude. I need items. Give me armor. Oh, no. All right, we got Owl Assassin. Huh. All right, let's go ahead and actually swap to... Sarai here. She's going to Venom Flurry. The, the Owl Assassin goes Hoo -hoo, when it's hit. That's amazing. All right, we're going to use Power Smash on this dude. Oh, so cool. Bye. Let's take out this one. And pssst, finish it up. All right, so the only person who we haven't seen their ultimate is pssst. And Carl didn't even get one. Oh. All right, might as well just rest real quick so we can be full now. 
Oh, this looks... So these... I thought that was Aferol, but maybe it's these people they're introducing. Get some berries, though. Uh, that feels like maybe we shouldn't flip that. That feels like a trap. They said they were going to lay a trap. Is that a trap? I feel like that's a trap. Yep. Like fish in a barrel. <laughs> Let us out. Afraid I can't do that, repine gal. Hmm. The glass one sure is odd. You heard her. Free us or else. <laughs> or else what? The sitting triumvirate of eminence has remained unchallenged for centuries. You think you low lives have a shot at replacing us? We've been through worse. <laughs> Then get through this. Oh! To the gallows they go. It's all the same in the end. <laughs> we just got beaten by a duck, dude. Like a buck, a, a duck man just beat us up. I'm gonna hit you with a big sunball, though. It's probably not gonna do enough damage to kill you, but hey. Oh, wow. Okay, actually, you don't care about my, my sunball at all. Oh, that was a cool attack, though. All right, let's use this one. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, nice. There you go. All right, Sarai can get out of this. She's... She can create portals. Or I guess... I guess she's not. Well... Haha, -ha, you didn't think I could fart out of my hands, but I can. There we go. Thank you, bracelet. My fart bracelet there. Trap, we were able to get out of this no problem. Oh, shit, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I take it back. I take it all back. All right, dash strike here. Haha. -ha. Like, there we go. Deleted. But dang. And all, I can't, I, I cannot get over the pst character here. Like, what a wonderful job. It, their animations are amazing. Like, so good. All right, so we have to push this. Um, yeah, we can just do this this way. Push that down. Over. Up. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We can go this way. Alright, is this... We're back up here now. We can get more berries. That's good. Make berry jam... Oh! Come on. They're cheating here. This triumvirate. Oh, whoa, what? I feel like that's maybe gonna be something. Hello? A soundproof barrier. My magic can't break it. This one is not a cultist. Might be able to help if we can free him. I think we need to get to that switch behind him to free him, maybe? So what does this do? Oh, I thought that was like a teleporter thing because of the factory. Alright, so we'll jump down. Oh, it's a ledge. I didn't even see the little... Oh my gosh! It's <laughs> uh, Yo, I can't believe they did this with this character. It is so cool. Is there anything we can do before we flip that? All right. Oh, no, no. Oh, so right. Not fooling me twice. Here's hoping the release mechanism is this way. Friends, I'll get you out. That's so cool. Now, I'm starting to feel like Rashawn is, uh, I don't know. Like, it feels like Rashawn is starting to learn as much as we are. Let's go this way, maybe? Oh. Uh, oh, can we not go across there? Hang on. Looked like we could. Maybe there's like a weird perspective thing here that we can't actually. I guess we have to go this way then. What are these? I love being able to control Sarai sometimes. 
What the heck? -a? Huh. Looks like there's something there that we can do. I don't know. Maybe we can... Oh, I see. I know what we can do. We can do this. Perfect. And then we can grab... Yes! See? Told you. I know what I'm doing. Let's free our friends. Maybe? This is just so different. And, but, like... So what Psst said was that the Rashan had never been here, never been to this world. Oh, I see. Do I just select? I mean, they were, really? Is that it? That, okay. That was weird. I thought those were going to be like a little more of a thing, but sure. Like I thought it was going to be like a memory game, but instead they were like, here you go. All right, so we have to go this way to get back to where we were. I understand. I see. I just thought I could jump over there, but I can't. Maybe this bird dude can bring us over there. Free at last. Thank you, benevolent strangers. Wind magic will help you escape the gallows. Here. Uh. The code compels me to leave the spires, but I will not forget this debt. Safe journeys. Goodbye, Verlo. I, you're really cool. Can you join me, friend? That would be swell. That is so cool. Nice job, dude. Nice job. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait. Huh. But it doesn't look like we can actually jump. Unless we can from here. Nice. We get a sapphire ingot. We can sell that. Well, that's the chest I was trying to get that whole time. Now we can go back up. This is really dope. Every so often, I'm just flabbergasted that the game is as good as it is. But I feel like we should maybe pull this. Yeah, beat him up. All right, birds. Sunball, the one in the middle here. I know Sunball doesn't do that much damage, but maybe with... Oh, never mind. Deleted that one. 75. All right, I think we can kill this with an elbow drop. Yeah, baby. He's so good. They're so good. Psst, it's so good. And 16 health. I think we can finish you off. All right, give me all the XP. It's almost 7,000. Wow. They are giving us they are giving us a lot. I kind of feel like if the level cap's not 20, then I'm going to be pretty surprised at this point. Just because it it stopped giving us... Uh, it stopped even popping up one of the stat options for some... I forgot. Sarai, maybe? Oh, this leads back to the world map. Or back to the hunting fields, which is where we were. Okay, so we don't quite want to do that. Well, we do, actually, because we can now get this chest, which is a cloudy some... Oh, some alcrum, and we can give that to you. Plus eight defense, plus five magic defense, putting them at 102 and 105. That is wild. Don't, don't do that, controller. I've been recording all day, so the controller's like, um, time for you to go. All right, so that's, I guess we just go back this way. Maybe go, yeah, I think we should go back. Oh, they're both the hunting fields, weird. Oh, but the enemies are back, okay. 
Well, I mean, we could we could literally grind on them to get see if level twenty is the level cap. Because if it's not, then I think we have a lot longer, a lot more of not longer. I don't know more of the game to go, but. Oh, this is cool. Oh, yeah, another chest. Oh, shoot. And swap to Valir, who can boost. And Moonerang, maybe 113 health. Uh, that's probably not going to be enough to kill, but... Oh, it was. Deleted. See ya. All right, we're super close to leveling up. Let's see what's in this. And it is a plasma blade. Yes. All right, so that is a sword for our boy, Zale. Plus 11 attack, plus five magic attack. Holy smoke, so sharp it emits a faint sound. That is a huge upgrade. Wow, I think it expected us to... It, it's probably because it expected us to buy the sword from the shop. But little did it know, I'm broke. Did you kill them? Not quite. <laughs> what do you mean, not quite? They managed to escape the gallows. How? Their team is truly formidable. And there is one more thing, Great Illuminator. <laughs> Speak. Our prisoner has been freed. Verlo? Ah, oh, my Saint Eminence. The traps all worked, but the assassin on their team has reflexes like I've never seen. I'm sorry. There was nothing more I could have done. We went through a lot of trouble to capture Verlo if he... Verlo won't do anything. He lives by the code. His attempt at challenging us has failed, and thus he is compelled to exile himself from the spires. The others are still coming. What then? We defend our titles. <laughs> oh my gosh, I really hope we fight these guys. They're so cool. What even are they? They're birds, clearly, but like... Why is there bird? Why are there birds here? Looks like we have another. Ah, another sacrosanct spires. Seems like a really big island. Ah, another one of these. Okay. And then we have to be able to jump up. To do that, we need the wind power power again there. All right. So it looks like we're going to need to use this again. All right, I at least know that that one and that one. And then it was this one and this one. Um, I think this one and this one. All right, now this is harder. All right, and then, oh shoot, I don't remember. It was this one. Nice. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, cool. I, oh, I thought it, I thought they were going to do the wind power, but I guess not. I guess maybe we need Verlo for that. Oh, what does that do? I guess we have to just keep going up here. Oops. This is super cool. guessing climb all the way oh that ball there okay do i even care about sunballing them i think i just want to attack yeah it does like the same amount of damage as sunball and goodbye love to see it and we leveled up so we're level 18 now i believe And Zale, we're just going to do... I mean, I guess at this point, his magic attack is so high. Like, somehow his magic... I've been putting stuff into 
magic the entire time, but somehow physical has caught up with that. Um, let's go ahead and do... Yeah, let's just do physical attack. Screw it. Make him hit harder, baby. We'll do magic attack for Sarai. We'll do magic attack for Valir. Rashawn will do MP, of course. Here we go. And pst, we'll do MP. Yeah, definitely MP. Hee <laughs> hee, so cool. All right, what level are, that's 18, right? Yeah, we're now level 18. Get some dairy there. All right, looks like we can use this ball. Oh, I see. Oh, maybe I don't see. Oh, I, I do see. Yep, and then we can do, we just keep pushing this down. We can step perfect. Now we have to decide which one we put this down. I think we want to do it that side first. Nice. Is that right? I mean, I guess so. Get him! Let's beat him up, dude. Sunball. We double boost here. We do a big sunball. Delete that guy. I'm not worried at all about the owl assassins. They just don't do enough damage. And then we use elbow drop on this guy. Two, three, boom. Amazing. The only thing is that pst, runs out of MP really quickly, but like, it's fine. We get a crystal egg. Hmm. Okay. Ah, so maybe we do need to get... Alright, we can use a crystal egg here. Oh, that's odd, but cool. And then if we use this, we can go back up and then, oh, it puts us all the way back at the top. Okay. I think we just drop down here. Oh, another chest. What do we get? Spark mesh. Oh, for, uh, okay. A sturdy miracle of technology. All right, they both have wire plate. Plus three, plus five. Plus three, plus five. All right, we'll just give her spark mesh. There we go, beat him up. Oh, that didn't... Oh, I thought for sure that was going to delete him. All right, then we'll swap to... Yeah, we'll swap to her so that she can use Moonerang. Come on, Valir. All right, 5,000 XP for that one. I mean, we could... Champion's Omelette. Yum, 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 yum. We could literally just grind until we until we're level uh, whatever, but... Yeah, we're not going to do that. All right, so we got those. So now what? I guess we just... Okay, so we use this. That's like what we had to do. Oh, that... Oh, I didn't even... Duh. That's why this... I was like, this looked different. It's because we're higher up than we could have gotten before. Okay, that's the dude that needs to drop the thing. That's the battery. The last their last resort that they had for this world. Seat of the Triumvirate. All right, hopefully this gives me a save point here because I'm thinking we're gonna have to battle those birds. 
Ooh, rainbow conch. Nice. We're at, I don't even, how many? 56. 56? Alright, I'm afraid to go over there. I think we uh, use this and save. Let's head north and see what we can find. Oh, a chest. A neo, a neo obsidian staff for Valir. Plus 12, plus 3. 111 attack now. That makes her, she has the highest stat. Yup. I'm not surprised. Let's, uh, we're, we're gonna fight these birds for sure, right? Energy from this pillar tugs at the mind. It feels a little soon for us to be fighting them, but... Oh, well. I love how the duck one just, like, lays there. New challengers have bested the spires. The triumvirate of eminence acknowledges your presence. So you're in charge here? You will address the great illuminator by title. We didn't come to replace you. Then what is it you seek? S. Triste. Hmm? <laughs> Only one possible wrong answer and you just gave it. Preposterous. It is not the place of anyone to stand in the presence of our god. For centuries, our people have been its gatekeepers. What you ask is impossible. Please listen. Whoever put you up to this has gravely misled you. S. Triste is no god. We built it to- Silence! Oh. Do you have a bazooka? Does that duck have a bazooka? Trespassers seek to violate our laws and commune with our god. The triumvirate of eminence reigns supreme and I, Abstarak, am its leader. Prepare for illumination! Yo. What is this duck? What are you doing, duck? What are you doing? I kind of just want to use moon, uh, moon ring. What's moon ring, dude? Okay. What are you doing? Ooh. All right, so wait a minute. So that dude's a caster, so we're gonna need to deal, we're gonna need to deal with that. Let's swap to Sarai here for a big old Venom Flurry, break this guy. I don't trust the duck with a bazooka. Let's go ahead and attack this middle dude, the leader. I don't know which one to attack though. I feel like we should attack the Cassigen. Oh, that was a cool attack though. All right, we're going to wait to build up our stuff. We're going to swap here to... Yeah, yeah. We're going to get a boost. Actually, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll sunball. I feel like this guy's a caster. Okay, definitely don't use any magic attacks on them. He just threw landmine? Trip, trip mines? Seventy-two, just with a basic attack. Yeah, and then I think we swap to. Psst. Yep. That is such a cool attack, though. All right, we have to break that. Um, we have to break that. So, I think we use elbow drop. Messed up the timing, but that's okay. And then we'll use uh, a boost here. Just one. So we can break this. What are you doing? Trip mines again? All right, we do need to heal. So we're going to do... We're just going to attack Brother Cassigen. Oh, no, that's a lot of locks. Oh, shh. Oh, what do we do here? I can arcane... Uh, that doesn't do much. All right, well, I know what we do. We can lunar shields here. 
take a boost and then Lunar Shield. Hmm. Mend Mind. Holy shit, you, okay, you have a big heal. I'm a little worried about the dude in the middle there. This deals single target venom, blunt venom and arcane damage. So I'd be able to take out, I don't know. I don't wanna, I don't really wanna use that. High damage versus bottle punch. I think we need to elbow drop this guy, I guess. True terror. What? Oh no. Through my, are you kidding me? Uh, excuse? All right, so we need, we need to use a, do I have anything else? Just that. All right, we're gonna use that and then we're obviously going to use, I actually don't even want to. I'd rather use an item. I don't know, dude, this is wild. I could use moon shiv against, all right, let's try, we can do moon shiv. and 10 damage and then I think we actually swap in Rashawn who uses ultimate which will delay everything and heal and do damage of course this is awesome Woo. all right obviously we're going to hit this Break that. Uh, Rashawn, we're gonna swap to... I mean, psst, is really low on health, but we can actually give him... Shishimi? Nice. I could actually give him another item, too. Recovers 100% MP. That doesn't feel worth it. Because it recovers 110 HP if it hits. That is a lot of HP to get back. All right, how many boosts? Do we have two? Oh, goodbye, Cassagen. There's your healer gone, bud. All right, and then Valir is going to use a big moon ring here. We'll break the duck. And then I feel like the duck should be our last. True terror is what's is what's scary, right? This dude. He is weak though too. Like I can use sunball on him and do a ton of damage. 167. All right, we got to break that. We just have to. So we hit. And then we swap. Unless... I was going to say, unless there's a combo, Arcane can be timed for bonus AoE. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think we use... We just disorient. Oh, didn't even need it. There's the big guy gone. Take another one here, and we'll combo. Uh, I mean, we haven't we haven't seen this yet, so why don't we combo this guy? We haven't seen this this combo yet. Oh, that was cool. I was expecting it to bounce. So cool. Uh, I think we just, yeah, we just lunar shield this. Guy. 
I want to see. Get zoot. Yeah, it's that's a single target. I want to I want to get that ultimate built up if we can. Cuz I'd like to see pssst. Oh, well, we're not going to need that cuz we just defeated him and we get the featherweight trophy in 22,000 XP. So this is it. <laughs> Sorry, duck. Great illuminator, I have failed you. Great Eagle, so this is how you choose to thank us. Huh? We gave you flight, and you would repay us with our destruction. Wait, what? What are you talking about? For you to end our lives after we sacrificed what was required. Huh? Is this irony, or does your cruelty surpass that of your partner? Wait, what is going on? It's perfect. Thank you, Afrol. Good. Perhaps now you can stop rambling about wanting natural light. Hmm. Yes, I suppose I could move on to rambling about how great it feels instead. Ah, just my luck. Happy birthday, Rashan. I'm glad you like your gift. How did you do it? I thought a transmutation spell like this required a hybrid soul. I obviously found a way. Well, you have to let me keep my secrets if you want more surprises in the future. <laughs> I suppose that's fair. Oh, try this. Interesting. There's no taste, but it's impossibly refreshing. What do you call it? Ice line. The state of equilibrium between ice and water. The final ingredient is the warmth of the drinker's mouth forcing it to contrast by turning into ice for but a fraction of a second. But it melts as it tries to freeze, letting you experience a seemingly ethereal temperature. Ah, see where this is going. You still have that flask design in mind. Yes. I'm ready for another attempt at capturing the sands of time. Third time's the charm. I'll accompany you. I was hoping you would say that. And if you ask nicely, I might let you fly on my back. Ah, big if. I forking love that we get a little bit of background for, for Rashawn and... But what about the bird? Like, what does that mean? Another lie. So he made a deal with you. The Fleshmancer? Yes, many of us were sacrificed while he was working on your gift. But he offered in exchange the power of mind magic and purpose in the worshipping of Estriste. It was well worth it. After all, no. This hurts you. Then it brings some measure of peace to know that you are cursed with immortality. Suffer well. What was that about? The Great Eagle. It was a birthday gift from Aphorul a very long time ago. Back when he was still himself. Or so I believed. I'm sorry, Rashan. Just one more happy memory ruined. In the grand scheme of things, it's of no concern, but this does imply that his wicked deeds began centuries earlier than I'd assumed. This changes everything. 
I must go. What? But why? My calculations were way off. It is imperative that I return to the archives and run more models. You can't just leave like that. We need your help to fix this. This puppet will help until you've seen this journey through. Thank you for the companionship. It has been refreshing. Farewell. Just like that, he... Anyone in there? Hmm. He left like we were nothing to him. Whatever. Rashan played his part and made his choice. You're right. We should press on. Fist? We're almost at S. S. Triste. The teleporter at the bottom of the stairs should be functional now. And we get a Rashan puppet that doesn't have eyes, but will still do what it does in in battle. Yeah, there's nothing even. You could just do that. You know, he could also divide himself and in, up into many pieces and stuff. So, like, maybe he should have done that earlier. So, wait a minute. So the that is crazy. So. These birds actually sacrificed everything to give, like, their their civilization to be able to give Rashan the great eagle form, which is why he can turn into a great eagle. It was a birthday gift from Aferol. Jeez. Look how well that ended for him. All right, we do need to rest here. And I'm thinking we head this way now. Yep, teleporter. Just like in the factory there. Huh, what is, is there anything? It just looks so cool. Like there's roots and stuff. Back on the world map. This area has been really cool. Estriste's Lookout. Ooh, a chest. A broken handle. Fertiques! We get more story. Fertiques! Wait, what is the music? Ooh. We made it. Uh, is this the release mechanism? Racketer. Bits. Is there another way? Hmm. Step aside. <laughs> well... I'm assuming that worked. Is this like a underwater network? What is that? Way to go, bsst. Did it work? Yes, the Speedball Travel Network should be online now. From here, we can fast travel to any of the other stations, including the one in Skybase. What? Uh, hi, Teeks. Man, those things are fast. Hey, Teeks. Hey, how's it going? We're making progress, but we just lost Rashan. What? I can see him right there. It's just an empty puppet. The real him is gone. Kind of creepy. Kind of cool. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I 
love Teague so much. That's living glass. Nice to meet you. I'm Teeks. Greetings. My name is Psst. Hey, so I was exploring near Rapine and this speedball thing just opened up. Was it your doing? You just used it without knowing? Psst brought power back. We can use it to get to Sky Base. Oh, I'll tag along then. I gotta see that. All right, now she's now Teeks is back with us. Wait, is this not... Oh, I thought this was going to be like a boss fight or something, but I guess, I guess not. Let's speedball travel network online. Select your destination. Sky base. Sky base. We made it. What are we looking for? Whatever will stop the clouds being produced. There has to be a control room somewhere. And we need to kill the catalyst, if we can. And if we find that damned catalyst. You got it. The catalyst is responsible for making them... Oh, this is so cool. Is responsible for making these people androids and then making them basically be fed to the... or cyborgs. To be fed to the Dweller of Dread forever. Ooh, that's an enemy. Let's go. Yen K. All right. Well, we can definitely at least do this. Gosh, the music here is so cool. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Do spinny spins. Able to break that. Let's see if we can get a big arcane thing here. 120 damage. Yeah. 69. Uh, let's see how much a sunball will do against these weird robots. Oh, enough to kill them for sure. Oh, God. I, I can't believe they even changed, like, the, th the battle music for this whole area. Oh, I see a chip. Wait, a there's a rainbow conch there. Also something here that we can't use yet. Can we go? Oh, you know what? I think we can actually just go right here. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I, I didn't realize that we could go south into this room. I was like, wait, how do we get out over there? We're going to check the... We're going to rest and then let's check the story with Teeks because we did get that item. I want to see if anybody says anything about... Where the hecka we are now? Opening the way to the spires was the least I can do. I hope I can prove myself a valuable ally. Skybase used to be so good for my world. Huh. Sarai, this is the place. Now, if we find the catalyst, yeah, we'll destroy it for you. Rashan, Rashan's puppet, stand still. Jeez. We're gaining ground. We are. You found a new artifact. Let's see here. Here we go. A new story. S. Triste. When the birdmen accepted Aferol's deal, he knew that granting their species access to mind magic would be easy for him. There was only the matter of giving them their own god to worship. And so, as always, when a problem wouldn't also serve to advance his research, he delegated. The songsters were capable builders, not as tech-savvy as the humans who built Skybase, but he just needed a giant construct and no tricks. With proper incentives in place, in the form of hostages, Afrol put Takor in charge. A team was formed, and together they started building the Sacrosanct Spires, with its pretend god as the centerpiece, the giant Estriste. But Takor was no fool. He knew all too well that Afrol wouldn't stop until every single shred of life had been exploited or corrupted. On the third night, the songsters performed a ritual chant to summon a vision of the distant future to Takor's mind. Skybase, the regulator of climate, corrupted. The death of all fauna and flora. The megacity completely razed, his land reduced to an ocean of blue sand. 
The tech-savvy humans, their souls detached from their bodies and tethered to cyborgs by a wicked machine. Forced to live in despair, their minds food for a growing sea monster. A world without sun, without hope, and the moon sunken into the abyssal depths. And his own people, what cruel fate. Heroes of the future, this world's only hope, capable yet without any means to reach Skybase, with power offline. The vision faded, and Takor focused his mind on dreaming a sanguine dream. The next morning, he woke up with purpose. When the time came, the heroes would have the spark needed to reclaim their world. The solution had to be so simple, it would be invisible to Aferol in his elitist mind. And so they built Estriste on a vertical power rail connected to the planet's grid. For the final touch, they raised an enormous slab of stone for the giant statue to hold firmly in its hands. The most primitive form of battery which, when dropped, would grind on the rail and return power to the grid. Their plan worked. Aferol wrote it off as a purely artistic choice. Centuries went by and with the rise of the Fleshmancer, the world lay helpless as Takor's visions of suffering and destruction came to be. All the while, S. Triste stood there, never getting so much as a second look from Aferol. For centuries and more, the failsafe was hidden in plain sight, ready to support the heroes of the future in their last-ditch effort to reclaim this world. While Takor wouldn't live to see the day of their arrival, he died knowing that his world and his people at least stood a chance. The end. And with that, my friends, I'll see you all in the next Sea of Stars episode. Never give up, never surrender to the Triumvirate. Goodbye, everyone.